Hi, it is the Human Operating System time. This channel is for education and technology. So in the past one week, I have shared many videos and it caught many uh, traditional Chinese martial art practitioner and Wing Chuners attention. And thus I got many messages and uh, discussions with uh, many of our friends. And there are something come up with uh, the discussion. So today I like to share with you the truth, the truth you don't know, or at least most of people don't know. Well, probably you will say, well, how can you're so sure that uh, I don't know? Well, because your body signature can be scanned. You just look at, like, for example, the uh, Western boxing coach. <clears throat> they can screen your body. And so, is it or is it not, can be scanned. Okay, we all are transparent in front of an experienced eyes. Now, I'm going to share with you this. But there's no mean of any other things. My goal is just to present technically what it is. Because only everybody know what it is. Then we know what it is. So this is a technical, solid technical video and a solid technical and a history channel so do not think other stuff okay i want to make it really clear today because what i'm going to share with you today is extreme extreme extremely critical for wing chun so we often Heard that people say Wing Chun is short range art based on structure. Short range art based on structure or close range art based on structure. And uh, some, you know, in a video, YouTube, you can hear, you can see people say Wing Chun destroy Western boxing using Cham Kyu's techniques. And uh, you can see that. Uh, People also talk about it is the person, not Wing Chun. Especially when uh, somebody, some Wing Chun uh, lost, like for example, lost to Xi Xiaodong, Ding Hao lost to Xi Xiaodong, then people say, what is, is this, the, the uh, Ding Hao is the guy who responsible for that. Wing Chun is uh, perfect. Well, there's an assumption. So I asked the friend who told me this or discussed with me this uh, in past one week, do you know what is Wing Chun? Do you know what is Wing Chun? Well, this is what your opinion on Wing Chun, but do you know what is Wing Chun? Well, it's serious, right? For example, if I say that, okay, the Apple phone, then we can uh, give our five cents on Apple phone, but do we know what is Apple phone? Do, you, do we know that uh, uh, what is the iOS of the uh, Apple phone, which is different than the, the, the Android? Do we really know? Or we just uh, based on hearsays and our opinion, your opinion, like for example, Short range art based on structure, or you know, uh, destroy Western boxer using Cham Kyu techniques. So, today I like to seriously share with the entire world something which is 
at least in public, it never revealed in past 100 years. It never. You can check all the writing, all the teaching, all the quit, all the uh, 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 video in the public. You will not see this. Okay. So today I'd like to share with you the missing weapon of Wing Chun version 1960. Okay, the missing weapon, a serious, really critical weapon which is missing in 1960. And without this weapon, it is no longer short strike. So let's not kidding ourselves. Without this weapon, there is no longer a short strike art. There is no longer a short range art. And so we don't have the characteristic, we don't have the weapons to face in the long range. We don't have the weapon to face Western boxing without this. And we also do not have the weapon to face Jiu-Jitsu or Rastro or Judo card without this. So without this, we are not be able, or Wing Chun is not be able to face whatever the long range fighter, long fist fighter, or the short range fighter, the grapper. Okay? <clears throat> so, you might say, well, Hendrik is going crazy again. Well, today i like to share with you the eight, number eight, one, two, three, four, eight, the eighth Q&A of the Shaolin Short Strike Canon. If it is a short strike from or close range fight, uh, fighting art or is the a short range fighting art from Shaolin, you better follow this book, okay? As I shared before, the first 20 Q&A actually describe what is a short strike art of, uh, from Shaolin. Sure, everybody can have a very uh, variations, but this is the basics. The 20 question is the basics. And that's why I like to share with you this. It is never in public before for past 100 years. Nobody mentioned it, but today we need to talk about it. It's time to get to the bottom of the line. Without that, we don't have Wing Chun. Just don't kidding ourselves. Okay? Now, number eight. There is a Q&A and there is a description. So this is in Chinese. I'm going to read you the Chinese and explain to you what it means in English. So in Mandarin, it say that. Okay, this is the question number eight. Q&A number eight. If you have this book, uh, uh, take it out, it's in the Q&A number 8. Okay, if you can read Chinese, read it, okay? It is very critical. So, the question number 8 asking, How to defeat the opponent with footwork? How to defeat the opponent with footwork? So, we know that the footwork is, the, uh, is this type, as in the Wing Chun Inception, uh, uh, wing, in this book, in beginning Wing Chun books of mine. This is the footwork. There's the Z step, triangle step, the plum flower step. Okay? So here is asking, how to defeat the opponent with footwork? The answer is, Okay, in Mandarin, it says, 在用肩最贵. So, in English, it say that using solid drop-down nail. So, the Q&A, the question is, how to deal with the opponent with, or how to defeat the opponent with footwork? How to defeat the opponent with footwork? That's the question, okay? And the answer is using solid 
drop down, kneel, kneel down like you kneel down. Okay, so that's how you defeat the opponent with footwork according to the Shaolin Sword Strike Cannot. So what is this using kneel? Drop down and solid. What is it? What is it? We're talking about footwork, right? What is it? So, there is a description. See, the ancient uh, martial, Chinese martial artists, ancient Shaolin, they are really detailed people. It is, if it is not at least it is as detailed as the design engineer in Silicon Valley because this is a life and death situation of art, right? The art which is using in the life and death situations. So here it said, it, 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 it described uh, in details what does it mean by uh, this uh, using solid drop down and nail. So here in Mandarin it say Jian Jiao Wan Xi Ho Jiao Jian. Okay? Jian Jiao Wan Xi Ho Jiao Jian. In English it said solid leg bending back leg arrow. Solid leg bending back leg arrow. Okay, like arrow, that is shoot arrow, the arrow. And then in the Mandarin, it says that 前足为舍,后足线 In English, this is said the lead foot is the arrowhead, back foot is the string. Okay, so here it said solid leg bending back leg arrow. Lead foot is the arrowhead, back foot is the string. So it's said, well, Hendrik, what the heck it is? Well, is in the Wing Chun matrix. This is what it is. This is the description. That is that you see that okay? That is the description. The lead foot is the arrow, back foot is the string. Okay? And it said solid leg bending back leg arrow now then you ask again so Hendrik what what is this what is this uh, all this uh, solid leg bending back leg arrow stuff well this is actually telling the third the third arm of Wing Chun or short strike. This is the shadowless leg. That is the knee. Okay? So it means that when the question is that how to defeat opponent with footwork, the answer is using solid drop down and kneel, meaning that when you Use the footwork to get close. You strike him with knee in the same time. Okay? You strike him with the knee. So on the top, of course you have your, your, your fist, but on the bottom of the body, you, you attack him with the knee. So that's why if you look at that, that knee is there already. This knee, okay, if you look at this knee, it bending. Okay, the knee there, it bending like the arrow shape. That's what it say here. Lead foot is the arrowhead, back foot is the string. So, the back leg is pushing, this leg is shooting into the opponent's leg. The knee, the thigh, the shin, it is shooting in every step it take. Okay? And here, it further say that 
Yong Jian Tui Kao Bu Nan Yao. In English, it says that solid, push, and lean. Solid meaning that uh, you crush in, you push, or lean. Okay, okay, sorry. Solid, the solid, the solid, okay. Push and lean to you cannot shake you. Okay, so meaning that if you if you if you strike the, the opponent with the with the uh, with the knee while you are moving in or uh, you, you move around uh, the opponent push you or lean you he cannot shake you okay he cannot perturb you and here it again it explain what does it mean by that is unshakable so meaning that if i in, in, in this one say if i if i get in i need a guy and that guy lean on me, pushing me, but I'm unshakable. So here, it explain again. You say in in, uh, in Chinese, you say, 最贵勾达随人变. So it say that using drop down, knee, hook, or strike varies with the opponent. That is why you cannot shake me. If I need you, and because my knee techniques is based on or adapt to, or uh, varies with uh, different situations, so unshakable doesn't mean that I stand there with a structure. It means I continues change. I never stop. It's dynamically continuous change. Every step, the short strike guy do at every step it attack your legs with the knee at every step every move okay so that is what it is so unshakable or unmo immovable it's not that i stand there with a, a a structure it means because i continue change with it varies with it it's dynamic that's why you cannot move me it's not like i i i, I can stand there i have this chi or this fudging that you cannot move me it's not it's just continuously dynamically varies with the opponent's uh uh, 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 uh situations or attacks okay so this entire thing is said that Solid leg bending, back leg arrow. Lead foot is the arrowhead, back foot is the string. The solid is unshakable or immovable when the uh, opponent push or lean at you. While you, are do, uh, while you are using the techniques, the knee techniques of drop down, knee, hook and strike, you always varies with your opponent. Okay. So you look at it clearly. You want to talk structure? Sorry. You're missing the entire lower part of your body. Okay. This entire lower part of your body is supposed to keeping dynamically changing and striking with the knee, as this described here. And you need the knee to, as the tip of arrow, to crush in, to kneel down, to drop down, all these knee techniques. So, one thing I have to, you know, I want to uh, 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 get your attention. It never is this type of uh, leaning back type of stance for the short strike. This is a long fist. Why? If a Western boxer attacking you, okay, if our opponent is a Western boxer attacking you, 
This is the range he likes to attack you. And because you have you can block his uh his, his, his punches or his strike or his attack, but you can never stop his mobility. So you block one fist, one punch, another punch will come. They will change directions very agile because face it, Western boxer is very mature art. It is a high tech. It can come with all different directions with their footwork and so forth. <clears throat> well, there's their bread and butter. If you stand like that, you're only in a defensive or, or, or defense position. And how many, how many uh, how count can you define? Okay? With this, when you get in, right away you attack his lead foot. And right away you get into the range that a long fist is very clumsy. To, to, to strike out, you jam him. So the short strike art is you jam him in the same time you attack him. If you cannot jam him like this, you cannot jam him, then the next shot is going to come. Okay? On the other hand, people try to grab you. When they grab you, you need to attack their, 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 their lower body. Because if they grab you, it's playing close range. Your hand techniques is not going to be <coughs> working well. So, I'm not saying this, okay? This is all in this book. If you read it carefully, if there's a three book, as what I said, there are three versions of this. You read everything of that, that's what he tell you. Okay? So, so if you stand in those uh, back stands, you know, like some Q stand, fighting Western boxing, or maybe if you are faster than the Western boxer, then you win. But compare technical technology versus the technology with the today's Western boxing, you don't have the technology to fight. You might be stronger than the Western boxer, uh, faster than the Western boxer, then uh, you can defeat him. But if we compare technology with technology, no way. And as soon as this is technology to technology comparison, you know majority, statistically, majority will not be able to do it. Because you can beat it only, you can defeat Western boxing only because of some odds reason, not the technology. So you can say it is the person, not the Wing Chun. There's assumption that your Wing Chun have the same technology. So think how when he fought Xi Xiaodong, you know already he cannot fight, he, he cannot win. Why? Technology wise, you already lost. You know already your structure cannot win. Why? The Shaolin ancestor hundreds of years ago already tell you when people get into you, you are not moving. Okay, unshakable, unmovable. Not, that's not because I stand there with a the structure. That's because I'm continuous to varies and the footwork continues to change. That is the reason why that is the plum flower footwork, the Mui Fa. It's keeping change. So this is the life of short strike Wing Chun, the life of it. The body, the, 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 the footwork and the body is one piece, which is the impulse momentum. The hand is secondary. 
Okay? Now, if you don't have this part, this part, how are you going to face the opponent? So this is what I'd like to share with you today. <clears throat> now, I am saying this today. Somebody were thinking, wow, you know, Hendrik, you take, talk bad about the uh, 1960s versions of Wing Chun. No, I'm not talk bad. I just tell you technically what happened. I'm just telling you that that is the truth. If you don't straighten this out, you're going to expect problem. You see, in like in the Chinese culture, you know, I, I live, I'm from a big family too. When I was in Asia, I was born in a big Chinese family. In the traditional Chinese family, there is the obedient kids. And that is the royal kid. The obedient kid is the guy who over there just yes for everything. And of course, you get a lot of pressure, peer pressure, and family loading there. The royal kid is not necessary obedience. And if you read the history of China, it is the royal kid which changed the situation, not the obedient kids. Because royal really means obedience. It just doesn't, it's not yes man. But obedient is not necessary royal. You read the history of, the, of China and you, you look at the, 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 the stories of the family. The royal kid is always obedience, even though it's not a yes man. But the, obe uh, the, the obedient kids is not necessarily obedient. Most of, you, you read all this fiction, the Chinese stories in the large family, in the, in the TV, you can see that most obedient kids or even the sons of the obedient sons of emperor, what they want is they want the positions of the emperor. They don't give a damn on the family. They don't give a damn on the, the, the dynasty. Look at it. Look at into the uh, into the, the history, the, the Chinese, how the kids, the prince of the, the, the emperor uh, 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 playing the politics to their father. Is that obedient or it is royal? Now, speaking of this, you know who is obedient kids? Who is royal kids? Bruce Lee is a royal kid. Even though Bruce Lee is not an obedient kid. You see, Bruce Lee is not the, the, uh, the, the yes man. Or Bruce Lee has his, his thought and so forth. And you, you can hear that, you know. Many people like him. Many older people in the older generation like him. Because the older generation is not idiot. Okay, they know. They know this is the problem in the Chinese culture. So if you ask me, how can you prove that uh, Bruce Lee is a royal kid? This is the letter of Bruce Lee, May 23rd, 1966. Okay, so if you can you do a snapshot in this red, I read you. One thing must be stressed that without Wing Chun, I would never have arrived at this date. Okay, this is after he already started his own, own school and his own style. He said this, One thing must be stressed that without Wing Chun, I would never have arrived at this stage. This is royalty. So Bruce Lee is like those prince or the, the, the kids of uh, the son of the rich man in the Chinese uh, 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 real story, okay, on, on the ancient Chinese with a big family. It often is that the son of the rich family left the family. And uh, he start a new thing and he get success. But he never forgot where he from. 
instead of the guy who is inside there keeping playing politics and then you can see the entire big business running down to the to, to the ground you can see that again and again again and again in the chinese history so you know i'm just a researcher the first thing is that if uh, in the western sense i present you what i see by evidence not my opinion okay so as far as i say anybody who have this book read it q and a number eight and if you don't have you have this my uh, Wing Chun, uh, basic Wing Chun or Wing Chun matrix, you read it there, okay? It is transferring the knowledge or the, the, the information here to, to, to the Western world. So, this is what it is. It is the time to wake up. We don't have much time anymore. When this lower part of the body being picked out, we really don't have much left. So, you know, you might not agree with me and that's okay, but I share with you, I show you what is in this book, what is the base of Wing Chun 1850 and what is the base of the Mother Art Shaolin Sword Strike. 